the neurovascular bundle starts at the neck, runs under or through the scalenes, which is the, your neck muscles, under your clavicle, under your pec, major and minor, and then uh, traverses through the myofascial tissue in your biceps and then kind of spreads out or branches down the arm. If they're, so nerves like three things. They like movement, they like space, and they like blood flow. And so with this treatment, we're gonna be trying to apply at least the blood flow and the space component. And we're gonna be using a, a little bit of a stretch that helps with the movement or that third element. And then we're gonna be kind of working ourselves down the, the neurovascular bundle track. We're not gonna get up into the neck just because that's such a sensitive area. We're gonna start at collarbone and we're gonna work ourselves down the entirety of the arm. It's gonna be quite tender in predictable points, particularly up into the pec tissue, up into the axilla, and then down into the biceps. Um, even though I'm providing the treatment, uh, let, letting me know like the amount of mechanical compression uh, to your tolerance is gonna be important. And you're gonna just do some nice deep breaths. Big breath in, and more, most importantly is your breath out. Try and blow out for about eight to 10 seconds, which is quite long, almost unnatural in nature. That's it, nice. I'm gonna really kind of get up into the pec tissue. Are we going okay with pressure? Nice. And then again, I like to have the arm slightly outstretched. Not necessary if it's provocative for distal symptoms. What do I mean by that? numbness, tingling, changes in sensation down into the hand, All right? We wanna be somewhat conservative because again, we're dealing with nerves, which are quite sensitive structures. And if we go up too aggressively with them, uh, they will be more symptomatic rather than uh, having a therapeutic effect. And so a keyword search, if you type into Google images, you type in myofascial sling, M-Y-O-F-A-S-C-I-A-L, and then sling, S-L-I-N-G, of the upper extremity. You'll see a variety of different images that demonstrate these kind of pathways of connective tissue. And it's within these pathways of connective tissue that the neurovascular bundle will run. And so our goals here are not to target a specific muscle, but rather to follow these myofascial slings. And you, you, uh, a good telltale sign, besides for slight grimacing, is the shoulder elevation up into the ear, right? That's like a protective uh, reflex that our bodies will have when mm, we're under duress or having a slight noxious stimulus. And then you'll also notice that I like to hold the nozzle of the device because it gives me better leverage. And if I wasn't holding uh, the, the arm, I could use another, like almost like a C straight grip to provide mechanical compression here. You're doing a nice job with the breath. And I'm really quite suspicious about some of the potential, I, I, I use the word gently, but entrapment sites around the shoulder girdle, just based off uh, the anatomy and what it tells us as far as the, the highest probability of encroachment, if you will, of the nerve as it traverses again under the pec, clavicle, relax that arm, you're doing great, and, the, uh, and then the axilla as well. So you want to spend about five minutes, maybe eight, up to eight minutes, just gently going and working through some of this anterior tissue that's meaning on the front of your chest, down into the bicep, up into the axilla is a, a really common place that is quite sensitive. The areas that are most sensitive and or pr produce some of the distal symptoms are areas that you want to go gentle with, but you also want to spend a deliberate amount of time there in order to uh, kind of assuage some of the symptoms over time. Again, the, the fascial slings, you can think of it as like, if you're wearing a wetsuit, it runs all the way down to your hand, connecting up through your neck, 
So even though symptoms don't ma necessarily manifest so much in the biceps and or in the, into the forearm, working through that tissue is going to be pretty critical. It feels kind of funny at first, but again, your, your body will get used to it. And you'll notice over subsequent sessions of deliberately applying this, that it will feel better. Okay, it can be administered up to twice a day. Sometimes people do it more often than that, but again, I think there's marginal benefits thereafter.